midterms. If you haven't already done it, you're probably about to have one. And if you're in the middle of studying right now, please put your phone, your tablet, your laptop, your desktop computer away right now and go study, please. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Anyway, if you're procrastinating right now, might as well do something productive with your time. And to help you with your studies, I asked some instructors what their tips are on getting through midterms. Well, the first thing you have to do is stay calm and actually read the question. Nine times out of ten, when students get the question wrong, it's because they haven't read the question. They're answering another problem entirely. So make sure you know what you're after. Make sure you've actually identified what the problem is about and answer the question that you've been asked. And one time out of ten, the other place where people go wrong is if there's a squared in the equation, square the number in your calculator. You can't forget to take a square root or square something if it's in the formula because otherwise you're going to lose marks because it's wrong. <laughs> One of the courses mine that I teach is electromagnetism which is very heavy math oriented and it's strongly recommended that students study in groups where if one individual does not understand how we got to the to the answer the other one can probably pitch in and help and if not go and see your instructor find out what happened wh what are the missing steps if you can pick up all the missing steps um, um, you know that's great if you don't it's, 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 it's good to ask questions. It's actually very appropriate to ask questions in the, in the lectures, in the tutorials, before you walk into the midterm. Okay, uh, advice on writing midterms. Uh, I must say I don't have any sagely advice because I think everybody approached this differently depending on their learning style. But I do have a few uh, observations to share. Uh, number one. Put your cell phones down when you're studying. Like, uh, shut it off or ask your dog to take it for a walk. Focus for half an hour. Uh, number two, students uh, who do well sometimes, they ask students from previous years whether they've had the same uh, instructor or not. That way you can sort of figure out what, what style um, of questions the task uh, might be composed of. And if all that uh, does not work out, uh, I would suggest you follow one of the advice from the Irish poet Samuel Beckett. And you can see, uh, you know, the quote is here. So if you fail the first time, uh, well, try it again. You'll fail better the second time. That's my advice to you. And so I've shown you this quote before uh, from the uh, Irish poet uh, Samuel Beckett. So uh, after looking at this, I'm going to give you a midterm back to you right now. Don't worry, you fail. You can always fail better. <laughs> uh, now. I'm going to go study now.